Chapter 12, Lesson 5, Interpret Line Graphs. You will be able to draw and interpret line graphs. A line graph is used to show how a set of data changes over a period of time. To make a line graph, decide on a scale and interval. Then graph pairs of data and draw a line to connect each point. Make a line graph of the data of Earth's population. Describe the change in Earth's population from 1750 to 2000. So the first thing we're going to do is plot these points. Our year is on the bottom and population is on the vertical axis. Time, year, minutes, days will always be on bottom and on the x-axis. And a line graph always shows changes over time. So year 1750, the population is 790. So at 1750, which is, these are these lines right here. It's a little hard to tell because they're slanted. I'll draw in little dashes. Okay. So 1750, 790, we'll say about here. 1800 was 980, so a little bit closer. 1850 was 1260. Oh. 1900 was 1650. 2000 was 6080. Okay. So now that we have our data, we can we connect each dot with a line, each set of dots. Okay. That's all there is to it to making a line graph. Now we need to describe the change in Earth's population from 1750 to 2000. And I would say going from 790 to 6000 is quite a drastic jump. So let's go ahead and say that. Earth's population has increased, it went up, so increased drastically from 1750 to 2000. That's all we need to do there. Just one quick sentence describing the change. Letter B. Make a line graph of the data. Describe the change in the number of building permits filed from 2005 to 2010. So again, we're using these the uh, dashes here, these lines here. In 2005, it was 16,000. In 2006, it was 15,500. In 2007, it was 13,900. Then it was 11,000. 8,200. And then 5,900. Okay, let's connect the dots with lines. All right, and now describe the change in the number of building permits filed from 2005 to 2010. Okay, it definitely decreased, so let's write that down. The number of building permits filed is, uh, we'll say a sharp decrease. From 2005 to 2010. 
interpret line graphs. By observing the upward or downward slant of the lines connecting the points, you can describe the trends in data and predict future events. The line graph below shows the cost of tuition at a college during several years. Describe the trend, then predict how much um, tuition will cost in 2020. Well, the trend here, it's definitely increasing, okay, and it's fairly steady. It's, you know, increases a little, um, little bit each year. So it's definitely increasing at somewhat of a steady rate. So what we can do is we can extend that graph to 2020 to make a prediction. So first, let's jot down the trend. Let's describe the trend. So the trend is increase, increasing, the trend is that the cost of tuition is increasing at a relatively steady rate. And now let's make a prediction by extending the graph we can predict that tuition in 2020 will be about well let's see it's not quite 12,000 just under so we can say $11,500 And we can actually, um, all we would need is this part. The tuition in 2020 will be about 11500 Letter B. The line graph shows the growth of a plant over several weeks. Describe the trend, then predict how tall the plant will be in seven weeks. So it looks like it's growing um, pretty slowly. And then it speeds up between week two and week four um, and increases fairly steadily. So let's jot that down. The plant grows slowly at first. Then increases steadily. And we are predicting it seven weeks, so let's go ahead and extend our graph. So it looks like maybe about there. And at seven weeks, it looks like about 11 inches. So at seven weeks, the height of the plant will be about 11 inches. What does the graph tell you about the popularity of skateboarding? Well, it, if we look at it, it's definitely increasing the popularity. Um, th this has to do with skateboard sales, so obviously if more skateboards are selling, then it's becoming more popular. So throughout the course of the years, it definitely appears that um, more skateboards are being sold at a steady rate, which means it's becoming more popular. So let's jot that down in maybe not so many words. The graph shows that skateboard sales have been increasing. Oops. each year at a steady rate. You can assume that the popularity of skateboarding also increases.